The volume that our, that our trainees get uh, really prepares them to take care of basically whatever walks through the door. Being a level one trauma center, um, you know, the, the busiest trauma center in the third largest state in the union, they get an excellent education clinically. We have a very busy surgical oncology service. We have a busy orthopedic uh, trauma service as well. We also have our sister hospital, Winnie Palmer Hospital across the street, uh, one of the busiest neonatal intensive care units in the world. We round with the fellows, the residents. Uh, we have rotating residents that rotate on our service from the emergency department, from the general surgery department, as well as critical care medicine fellows. Also on rounds, we have a dedicated pharmacist and uh, critical care pharmacy residency that we work very closely with. We also have a dietitian on rounds, as well as nursing, respiratory therapy, and caring for patients in this multidisciplinary way, which is done every single day, um, just ups the level of care that, uh, that our patients receive. We are a closed ICU system, so any person that's in an intensive care unit uh, in our hospital is, is either cared for by surgical critical care or critical care medicine. Additionally, uh, we train our fellows to be ready to start day one when they become attendings, not only clinically, but also professionally. We have a very robust professional development program. We get our fellows involved in quality committees from the Trauma Quality Committee to the Burn Trauma ICU Triad Committee, um, as well as several other lectures throughout the year, including how to give a deposition, how to bill and code, all kinds of things that, that residents and fellows aren't taught during their, their training, we try to give them that extra step so that when they become an attending, they are even more prepared uh, than, their, than their colleagues. I'm Joseph Lewis, born and raised in Kentucky. Went to medical school at Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine and trained in general surgery at Stony Brook Medicine uh, Community Surgery Program in New York. Now I'm here at Orlando Health as a, a surgical critical care fellow. One of the things that I was looking for, a fellowship that will train you to become a competent, safe surgeon and also an intensivist. Surgical Critical Care Fellowship anywhere is geared to be non-operative fellowship for a year. We do our fair share of percutaneous trachs, pegs, and bedside laparotomies, which can be a, a vast exposure from bleed and control to bowel resection. Occasionally, trauma codes may warn a fellow's immediate availability to assist in more complex operations. The trauma month uh, you cover is very operative heavy. I would recommend nights. It's crazy busy, high acuity, but it's the best trauma. 20% of our 6,000 admissions annually are penetrating trauma. Roughly that's 1,200 patients annually, or three people a day. So the volume is quite high here, and that's something that I didn't get exposure to during residency. We do 10 months of ICU. One of those 10 months is critical care medicine. The remaining two months are electives, one of which is trauma, day or night. I would highly recommend night flow. The other I'm doing is pediatric surgery, but there's vast other opportunities available. One of our goals is to not only uh, teach them how to take care of really sick patients, but teach them how to navigate this entity that is healthcare delivery in a tertiary center. I keep a close uh, relationship with all of our trainees in the past. You know, there's nothing like um, having a fellow call you a couple years down the road and say, hey, Dr. Smith, I got this guy. What do you think, what did you do with his? Um, and, and seeing them succeed, seeing them work at level one trauma centers, being program directors, working at, you know, choosing this field and remaining in this field um, is something that, that I'm very proud of.